Hi, welcome back to Colsky Drones. Today we've got part two of the Vizio 812. With flight footage, and I'll also show you what it's like to fly in 20 mile an hour winds. Hi, welcome back to Colsky Drones. So today we have the Vizio 812 part two. So if you watch the first part of this video that I did about a week or so ago, you'll see that I had an awful big issue with the app and I couldn't get it to connect, stay connected. Right, so that must have been an issue with my phone because after that, in subsequent days, I've never had another issue with it. It's been absolutely fine. So the video you're about to see at the end of this was flown in 14 to 20 mile an hour wind, believe it or not. I was trying to wait for a less windy day and I thought, oh, let's just test it in the wind anyway. It's a good test trip. Considering this is brushless and it runs on a 1S battery, albeit a high rock, I was stunned how well it flew. It didn't seem to bother the wind. You have to fly in speed mode 2 and above, in, sorry, in speed mode 2, to get it to penetrate the winds. But you'll see the first part of this video, I'm in, mode, I'm in speed mode 1 and it's still penetrated. In mode 2 it penetrates it better and when the wind's behind it, it was coming back quite quick. It flew really, really nicely. As I say, I was shocked how well it flew the controller does feel really nice when you fly and it feels very positive it does exactly when the movements seem to match the sticks very well so there's either no lag or these the resolution of the sticks is good video footage recorded as it should do to the video card I uh, not on this video but I've tried return to home it works absolutely fine it was within about six foot and Everything seemed to work as it should. I did calibrate the compass every time I flew because I think it does make a difference. And I'm more than happy with it. I haven't tested because I'm, I'm not testing the orbit mode and follow me mode in the wind the way it has been. I, I think it's a bit pointless. I'll do a follow up video on that because I'm also going to do a video comparing this with the, S8, with the S9000S because they're very, very similar. When you see them side by side, they're identical in size. When you see them side by side, you can tell how similar they are. The big difference is the 9000S runs on a two cell battery and this one runs on a one. Now, I don't think it flies any better than 9000S, which surprised me a little bit. I did think it'd fly better than this one because of the size of the battery. And especially in the wind I've just been flying in, I was really, really surprised. It was really nice in the wind. You'll see from the video footage. So, as for the camera. So, I think I've mentioned those. If you watch my channel, you'll know that I don't really care about the cameras on these things because they're never going to be great. Now, when you watch a video for this, you've got to remember that I'm flying this in ridiculously high winds for something this size. So, it is getting blown about a little bit. And the image will show you that. The image is quite sharp, so... So, on a calm day, I'd presume it would be a lot, lot better. But again, we can go through that on the video that I'll do in a couple of weeks, as soon as the weather gets a bit better, when I compare both, and I'll have side-by-side -side comparisons with this and the 9000S, because they are very, very similar. I think if you bought either one, you'd be happy with it. And it's difficult for me to pick a winner that I'd say was the best one. So, the only way to do that probably is to do another video, because at the minute... This is fresh in my mind, but I remember how well I liked the 9000. The camera's about the same on them both. Um, the advantage of this thing, it is a visual, and it does fly like a visual. So, that's the one good thing to say. I'm very impressed with it. I think for the money, it's great, and you can't go wrong. So, I recommend it, definitely. It's just whether you pick that or the 9000, in my opinion. But, yeah, highly recommended. So, the video clip you're about to come up with, the first video clip you're going to show shows the GoPro. Now in screen with the GoPro footage I'm going to put the app footage. So you can see the app running at the same time as when I was flying it with the GoPro. And then the second video you've got coming up is the flight footage directly from the SD card which is inside here. You have to pop the SD card out. It's very easy to and I love this feature. I think it's one of the best ones I've seen. So you'll see that coming up and then you make your own mind up. But yeah it's a big thumbs up for me and I highly recommend it. So have a fantastic day and get plenty of flying in, even in the wind. So the flight footage you're watching is actually peaking at 20 mile an hour winds. It went from 15 to 20 mile an hour, never really dropped below that. And you can see the craft is quite stable. It flew really, really well. It didn't seem to bother by the wind at all. It penetrated really well. The first part of this flight, 
after in speed mode one and then I increased it to speed mode two. It handled well in one and two, it just penetrated a little bit better with a bit faster in speed mode two. So the video footage you're watching now is recorded directly to the SD card on the Visio. As you can see there's a lot of choppiness but that's due to the high winds we were flying in. As I say it was 20 miles an hour and it did really well considering it in that type of wind. The picture looks quite sharp, if not a little bit blocky at times but I'm ha more than happy with it for the price of the drone and I think it's comparable with anything else at this price point.
thanks very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell thanks for watching